Hi everyone. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are staying at home, staying safe. Uh, you have often uh, come across the term heroism or superheroism as it is uh, widely known these days. And uh, one of my uh, main unique selling propositions is that I talk about experiencing superheroism on my blog as well as my blog. Uh, what does it mean primarily? So as I was talking about experiencing superheroism, the first mediums that ever came across in human history were books. Books allowed uh, mankind to explore their wildest dreams, their wildest imaginations about anything that was supernatural, anything that was super to say the least. So as I had showed you guys that when, when the first ever superhero was born, that is Superman, uh, way back in the 1930s, we came across a medium called comic books. Their format was pretty much like a magazine and uh, in that respect uh, we were coming across their newspaper strips. These later on were followed by trade paperbacks like the ones that you see over here. These are uh, like collections taking one story, uh, all taking all of the issues and combining them into one. But one of the biggest developments that has come about in the recent times is video games. Games like the first one, Batman Arkham, really changed the meaning of uh, how to experience superheroes. Because when we are talking about books, what happens is that we are actually reading it but we are unable to, you know, jump like Spider-Man. Uh, we are unable to swing like Spider-Man in the heart of Manhattan. Or uh, we are unable to drive a Batmobile uh, like Batman uh, in the streets of Gotham uh, way late at night. What does it feel like? Now, with the advancement and development that has come about in the world of gaming, what we have seen is that now you you can easily uh, you can easily you know be able to know be able to feel what it what it's like when you're jumping off a tall building or when you're uh, trying to fight off one of the most uh, diabolical villains uh, the criminally insane and uh, in that respect. So in my opinion, the, this game changed the way. This was the trendsetter. And the, the success of this game can be seen by the fact that before Batman Arkham Asylum, Metal Gear Solid was the RPG game that was scoring the highest ranking uh, in the gaming world. But ever since Batman Arkham series came in with Arkham Asylum, it gained higher rating than Metal Gear Solid. Because in that video game, what people were seeing was they were experiencing the entire comic book story. Not just reading it or not just viewing it, but they were able to experience it, experience it in its entirety. And then uh, it has boiled down to Arkham Knight, uh, Spider-Man, I don't know how good uh, the Play Avengers game is going to be, but let's keep our hopes up for that. Another important medium that allows us to experience superheroism, but the restriction in that respect is that we are only able to recreate important moments in uh, superhero comic book history, uh, such as if you look at it from the back, you will find that uh, on top I have Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man. If you can go back to my previous posts, I have made a post about it as well. And then underneath you find uh, the Defenders. Also, I have posted about that. Now, that particular battle scene comes from uh, the Defenders uh, issue, uh, issue number 17 that was published somewhere around in the mid-70s. And, you know, that is another way to experience superhero. But what I have learned today is something even more important. 
when we say experience uh, experiencing heroism or experiencing superheroism it's about uh, trying to do the good thing the good deed in the worst of circumstances in the most impossible of circumstances and in this year in the year 2020 when the whole world is engulfed by uh, the, uh, the, the this this global pandemic everything has come to a halt everything has uh, you know taken the worst turn possible uh, we are coming across some very unfortunate realities despite best the best efforts being uh, put in by the governments despite the best efforts being pulled in by the civil society and you know that is the main test that if we believe in doing the right thing we have to rise up to the occasion i'm not asking people to become a vigilante or be someone like the punisher but what i am trying to say is that if you are uh, coming across information about a family let's say uh, who are lacking essential foods or who uh, have been let go from their jobs and they are not having any kind of money with them uh, I mean, it could be anything and there are so many scenarios that are emerging and it's not just in one particular country, it's almost everywhere in the world. The whole economy, the whole uh, economic framework is now being challenged. The economic framework that was there for the last 200 years since the industrial revolution is now being challenged. So what does it mean for people like you and me? people like you and me who believe in doing the right thing no matter what it's just to lead out it's just to lend out a helping hand uh, and that to me is the only constant since the beginning of time uh, when we talk about experiencing superheroes so with that i would like to bring my live uh, transmission to an end and i hope you guys liked it if uh, you did like it please share it and also share your comments share your questions whatever feedback you guys have let's try to engage with each other more and more and uh, have a nice week in whatever the circumstances we are having thank you very much for joining uh, stay blessed stay safe and let's hope that this entire catastrophic uh, situation comes to an end. God bless you all. Sure.